get more high. That's meditation. That's that's our breathing, our natural innate ability to have godly powers, you know. So I just kind of wanted to have a little bit of a discussion, like what do you guys think about alternate religions and, you know, other ways to get closer to God? Anybody? I think a fellowship, being, you know, being around with people that believe in the same thing that you have in your beliefs, and um, prayer, because I'm Catholic. I'll add a little bit. I think it's amazing. I love, I love that poem, that song. It, it, was, it just really touched. Um, I recently had a discussion with a, a big time churchgoer um, over over being a hypocrite. Um, there's a the, there's a big thing about churchgoers really believe that the people that don't go to church are just hypocrites and they're living their lives, and yet. They say that we would see the churchgoers as hypocrites. And I guess my question was um, to, to that person I was having a discussion with, who's the bigger hypocrite? Right. And, and is, are you judging? Because if that's not, you know, uh, you're not really the one to judge, so who's the hypocrite? Yes. <laughs> so I think it's amazing that you have that at this point. I think that's really beautiful. It's not the first time I heard that, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I stumbled across it when I was looking for a different song. And I was like, this is, do I like it? And I think it's beautiful. The song that I was looking for was it's actually called Prayer, Prayers in a Song. Mm -hmm. And I think that's beautiful because, like, especially for me being Native, we don't, we don't just pray, you know, we don't drop prayer music and pray. We pray when we're speaking to someone that's within our actions. Right. So. And that's why I did name it Smoke Signals because I wanted to take it back to the indigenous times, like to when we could heal ourselves naturally, which is something we're going to get into next. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep it moving because I don't have a lot of time and I got a lot to share. So I just have a quick story to tell you guys if you don't mind. And she sits on a porch with a gun in her lap, chair rocking back and forth, forth and back. She is royalty as she reigns her throne, whether from the time second hand clothes torn. And through her, I am born, the seed of her seed, the growth of her nurturing, her blood I will bleed. She is the light that shines through me, and I am her voice when she cannot speak. Because she is like an alligator who prays over man, develops skin so thick she can hold the sun in her hands. And she holds her sons in her hands and turns boys into men. Woke has yet to reach her, but she would pay for your sins. A migrant worker who gave life to bare lands. And she pulled roots from the earth with her strong bare hands. And with the world on her back, she continued to stand and use her strong bare hands to protect her seeds from climate changes to crack houses to poverty and disease. Francisquita Socorro Garcia Zuniga. Her father was from Spain, her mother half Mexican, half Apache. Of six children, she was the last to survive. And that strong Spanish woman taught me the meaning of black pride. And when a gun caught back, I see white light sometimes so bright I lose my sight. But she forecast insight inside my eyes. And she took her hands off the trigger and rested in mine while her bones were under attack by time. She knew she couldn't turn Father Clock's hand back, so with her free hand, she passed me the strap. At first, it was too heavy, and I dropped it in my lap, but she squeezed my hand tight, making it impossible for me not to react. So I picked up the gun, and I create my own white light, and for her, I make others lose their sight, so that I can forecast insight inside their eyes. I keep her gun in my strong bare hand that look just like hers, but she is the reason I can. She is the reason I am. I'm Jay Harris, y'all. <laughs>